Princess Diana's former photographer, Arthur Edwards, mentioned the worst thing Prince Charles ever had to do, as the anniversary of Princess Diana's death approaches. The anniversary of Princess Diana's death is marked at the end of this month, August 31st, 22 years since the tragic car accident that took place in Paris. Speaking ahead of the anniversary Arthur Edwards, Princess Diana's former photographer, recalled the day. The royal veteran photographer told Nine News Australia, We all remember that day on August 31st, it was a terrible tragedy. I can imagine when Prince Charles had to wake Harry and William and tell them that their mother was dead must have been the worst thing he ever did. And the worst shock those boys ever got. Of course Harry has carried that with him for many years, saying it still affects him. So when he takes Meghan and Archie to that little island on the Althorpe estate and looks down at the grave and plaque and explains to Meghan, I imagine he will probably shed a tear. Harry and Meghan will head to Althorpe on the 22nd anniversary of the Princess of Wales' death on August 31st. The Duchess of Sussex has also never visited Princess Diana's final resting place. A source told the Mail Online, Harry wants Meghan to see his mother's resting place. The couple will also take baby Archie Harrison to see his grandmother's resting place for the first time. Prince Harry and Prince William used to visit their mum's island grave on her birthday and the anniversary of her death. But it is understood neither royal have visited their mother's grave since 2017, where the Archbishop of Canterbury hosted a stunning birthday remembrance service. On the anniversary, the brothers meet up at Kensington Palace for lunch or dinner to discuss what their mother taught them, while reminiscing about how important a part she played in their lives according to a report from Hello. Many have speculated that Prince Harry will follow in his mother's footsteps while on the continent, as Diana carried out various charity work in Africa in the last years of her life. Harry will also make solo visits to Botswana, Angola and Malawi while Meghan, Archie and their newest nanny will remain in South Africa. The source said, they always discuss Diana's charity work and brainstorm ways they can continue her legacy. Helping others and being a role model to those less fortunate is at the top of their priority list. Diana visited Angola in 1997 and walked through an active minefield, detonating a mine in front of an audience of international reporters, with the help of a landmine removal expert. Princess Diana made the trip as a fervent supporter of an international treaty banning land mines. On Saturday, it would be Princess Diana's 22nd death anniversary. To commemorate the event, the People's Prince's former photographer, Arthur Edwards, shared some details about the royal family and how her sudden death affected Prince Charles, Prince William, and Prince Harry. We all remember that day on August 31st. It was a terrible tragedy, Edwards told Nine News Australia. I can imagine when Prince Charles had to wake Harry and William and tell them that their mother was dead must have been the worst thing he ever did. And the worst shock those boys ever got. Of course Harry has carried that with him for many years, saying it still affects him. Prince William and Prince Harry both admitted that they regretted the last phone call they had with their mom. Princess Diana was in a summer getaway with her boyfriend Dottie Fade when she called her two boys. At the time, Prince William and Prince Harry were playing with their cousins, so they were in a hurry to end the call to resume their playtime without knowing that it would be the last time that they would hear their mother's voice. According to Prince William, that phone call still sticks to his mind quite heavily. Meanwhile, Prince Harry admitted to feel the same way. He said that it was incredibly hard. I'll have to sort of deal with it for the rest of my life," Prince Harry said. How differently that conversation could have panned out if I'd had even the slightest inkling her life was going to be taken that night. In an interview with BBC in 2017, Prince Harry shared his thoughts about the tragic car accident that killed Princess Diana. The Duke of Sussex didn't hide his anger towards the paparazzi. According to him, one of the hardest things to accept was the fact that the people who chased his O on the tunnel were the same people who were taking photographs while she was dying on the back seat of the car. 
Prince William's brother stressed that Princess Diana was still alive on the back seat, but the people just took photographs and those pictures made their way to the news desks.